A dominant opening half from Eastern Harps in their Kiernan Cup encounter with Curry proved the major difference in the FR. Kevin Brahoney Memorial Park Heach on Saturday evening. Improving weather saw the much-used venue in good shape for the most recent meeting of these great rivals in green. Harps dominated the early exchanges through the excellent play of Tony Taylor and Evan Lavin at midfield ably assisted by the surging runs of Kevin Gallagher and Michael Clark. Curry too had their moments, especially through the valiant efforts of veterans Sean Davey, Kenny Morley and Stephen Marin. Michael Lennon opened the Harps account with a pointed 20M free but Curry were soon back on equal terms when roving cornerback Greg Gallagher picked up a breaking ball and pointed. Tony Taylor, twice, and Michael Clark, twice, added points from play and Sean O'Hara finished a Barry Cryan turnover to increase the winner's advantage. Curry's sole response was a neatly taken point from Tommy Henry. Michael Lennon converted a 30 meters free after a foul on Tony Taylor before Sean Brune confidently found the Curry net after another turnover. Harps now led by 1-7 to 0-2 to after a blistering opening quarter. After a swift passing move Shane O'Grady pointed and Evan Lavin added another from 40 meters after a clever pass from Tony Taylor. Shane O'Grady pointed two 13 meters frees conceded by an overstretched Curry defense. Martin Doherty worked his way along the end line to fist over another Harps point. Connor Scanlon replied with a good point for Curry before Michael Clark had his third point of the half to leave the winners 1-13-0-3 ahead at the interval. Curry grew more into the game early in the second half with two points from Tommy Henry, one from a 30M dot free and a point from center back John Feeney. Kevin Gallagher pointed for Harps after a pinpoint pass from Tony Taylor and Shane O'Grady added two points from Freeze. John Feeney had his second point for Curry and Colm Brennan added another before Dennis Coffey capitalized on sloppy Harps defending to finish to the net. Harps now led by 1-16 to 1-7 as both sides battled for final quarter supremacy. The home side finished strongly. Sean O'Hara did well to retain possession and set up Gavin Horn for a point. Shane O'Grady pointed another 13 meters free and two points from James O'Hara pushed Harps further ahead. Michael Lennon completed the scoring with a point from play to leave the home side comfortable winners. Alan Davey enhanced his growing reputation in goal for Harps while the youthful Kath Coyle and Owen Dwyer as well as veteran Kevin Gallagher impressed in defense. Tony Taylor and Evan Levin controlled much of the midfield exchanges. Best in a lively Harps attack were Michael Clark until forced off through injury, Michael Lennon, Shane O'Grady, Sean O'Hara and Sean Brun. For Curry James McDonough was steady in goals. Stephen Marin and John Feeney showed all their defensive experience ably assisted by Greg Gallagher and Kevin Riley. Dennis Coffey and Gary Walsh had their moments at midfield while veterans Sean Davey and Kenny Morley got most support and attack from Connor Scanlon and Tommy Henry. Scores, E. Harps, S. O'Grady 0-6, ML, Lennon 0-3, ML. Clark 0-3, S. Brun 1-0, T. Taylor 0-2, J. O'Hara 0-2, E. Levin. S. O'Hara, M. Doherty, K. Gallagher and G. Horan 0 to 1 each. Curry, T. Henry 0 to 3, D. Coffee 1 to 0, J. Feeney 0 to 2, G. Gallagher and C. Scanlon 0 to 1 each. E. Harps, A. Davey, D. Madden, B. Cryan, C. Coyle, K. Cryan, E. Dwyer, K. Gallagher, T. Taylor, E. Levin, M. Clark, M. Lennon, S. O'Hara, M. Doherty, S. O'Brady and S. Brune. Subs used. J. O'Hara, G. Horan, T. Tahini and F. Gorman, Curry, J. McDonough, G. Gallagher, S. Marin, Occurrence, K. Riley, J. Feeney, C. McIntyre, D. Coffey, G. Walsh, K. Davey, S. Davey, C. Brennan, K. Morley, C. Scanlon and T. Henry. Subs, used R. Og Murphy, L. Riley, S. Marin I. Kennedy. Referee, M. L. Duffy Ellis Brown, Kilglass. Sligo Champion